All right, guys, so what we have set up here is uh, a basic model of the Earth's layers. Uh, we have the hot core underneath represented by these candles, and we have the mantle represented by this uh, tin of water right here. I do need to make one thing clear. So the mantle is solid. This is water. This is a liquid. But the mantle's kind of like a flowable solid. It's like kind of like rock jello. It's solid, but it can move. So we're modeling it with water here because obviously the water can move. Good? Yeah. Movable solids. Um, talk to me about the water directly above the flame and the, the molecules in the water. It's probably hotter and more spread apart. Yeah, the molecules are gonna spread apart a little bit. Um, so if the molecules spread apart where it's hotter, what's that do to the density of the water? Makes it less dense. Yeah, more people can talk here, guys, that's okay. Uh, I mean, this isn't going to po get posted on YouTube forever or anything. Um, so, if we have less dense stuff right above the heat source, what do less dense things do? They, sink to the they rise up. Oh. Less dense things rise, exactly. Oh. I'm going to demonstrate that for you here. This is uh, potassium permanganate. It's just going to color the water so you can see how the water is flowing. So I'm going to take just a little bit of it. And... As I put this in here, I want you to pay attention to the direction that it shows the water moving. First of all, it's all gonna to sink to the bottom. That's not how the water's moving. That's just this stuff sinking to the bottom. But then it kind of uh, saturates into the water and you can see it moving a little bit. So we'll put this in. Get a nice, good camera shot of that. So it's sinking down to the bottom. But now you're gonna to start to notice some movement of the water. And everybody, you guys can get close, get in here. How's the water moving? up. Why is it moving up? Because it's less dense. Because we're less dense right there. When it moves up as far as it can, what's it doing next? Pushing outward. Yeah, it's starting to push outwards a little bit. When it pushes all the way to the edge here, what's going to happen to the temperature? It's going to stay hot or it's going to start to cool down? It's going to start to cool down. Cool down, right? So what's going to happen to the density of the water if it cools down? Higher density. What do higher density things do? Sink. Sink. So we're going to start set up this flow where we rise up above the heat. It spreads out, and then it sinks down at the sides. And when it sinks down at the sides, it's going to get pushed back towards the heat. Is. So we're going to get something like this set up. Okay? What that is, that's called the convection current. It's movement of material, like the flowable solids in the mantle, because of differences in density, because of heat source. Okay? Now let's go back to talking about Alfred Wegener. Why don't people believe him that the continents move? There's never evidence. Oh, he's got tons of evidence. So slow no, nah, but he's got evidence like the fossils and the mountain belts and the glacial evidence. He doesn't know how they move. He doesn't know how they move. We don't know about mantle convection yet. But now we see that there's this flow in the mantle. We're going to add the crust. The crust floats on top of the mantle. And if I put this in here, I'm trying to get him still to start. And we start to get some movement, and it's slow. But what are they doing? They're pushing apart. They're pushing apart. What's pushing them? The currents. Currents where? In the mantle. In the mantle, which are there because of mantle convection. There's convection currents in the mantle that push these plates around. So now, Alfred Wegener comes, well, Alfred Wegener's dead at this time. But people come back to his theory and say, we have a way for the continents to move now. Mantle convection, the mantle material pushing them around. Specifically here, uh, what kind of boundary would I have where these are pushing apart? Divergent. I'd have a divergent boundary. If I had another heat source over here and like a long thing of water, I could make a convergent boundary. If I had a way more complicated setup, I could make a transform boundary. But the idea here, the main point is mantle convection is the driving force behind plate tectonics, behind movement of the plates. What drives the mantle convection? Heat. Heat. From where? The core. the core, exactly. And then it moves the mantle material around. That pushes around those crust plates. Good? Yeah. That's it. Okay.